If you've been enjoying my videos, perhaps you've wondered how I actually make them. Or perhaps you're interested in making a video of your own. In this video, I'm going to show you behind the scenes of how I actually make one of my videos. Also, if you're enjoying my content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you're notified when I upload any new videos so you don't miss anything. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so here I am at my organ console. I've got everything ready, the organ is on. And the first step in the process is deciding what to record for you. So the first consideration is actually time. How much time do I have available to actually go through the whole process of producing a video? Um, so in choosing what I'm going to record, it's either going to be something that I'm working on for a Sunday service, or it's something new that I'm learning. Uh, given where I am in my organ journey at the moment, most of my time is devoted to actually sight reading music instead of learning pieces. The rationale behind that is I'm trying to get better at playing, not just better at playing a small number of pieces. So yeah, I'll be learning new pieces, but again, how much time is it going to take me to actually um, learn a piece and actually record it without mistakes for the video? So. Often I'm just thumbing through my hymn book until I find a hymn that I think I can actually record and then I'll do some practice and then when it's good enough I'll uh, do a recording. So let's do that now, let's go and choose the hymn. Alright, so now I'm going to have a look through the hymns that I've got on my iPad. So I'm using the Fourscore software, so I'm just going to have a flip through and see which one I'm going to do so that's one I've done before and here we go so old 100 looks like a good one to do so I'll probably do that one all right so the next step is to decide what registration would be good for this hymn um, so in looking at this we need to have a look at the hymn itself we have a look at the verses there doesn't seem to be any indication about the uh, registration needed um, so yeah I'll just have a play around with the registration to see uh, what would produce some good variety now I'm using the concert 125 sample set from Silver Rock Studios which has of course 125 stops over six divisions so four manuals uh, pedals and also a string section which is floating so yeah there's quite a lot of choice um, now there are a lot of combinations I've preset, so I can use the preset combinations or I can actually uh, set some of my own combinations for each of the verses. Alright, so now that I've decided what I want to play and how it's going to sound, the next step is to get ready for a recording. So the first step in the process is to have a think about the, the presentation. So. Um, I need to tidy my surroundings a little bit, so I'll just move a few things out of the way. And also my own presentation, I usually keep things fairly casual, so um, I'm just going to go with what I'm wearing at the moment. And then the next consideration is uh, camera position. So I've actually only got one camera, it's a GoPro. Um, so to get multiple angles I actually need to record multiple times so to do this I actually use a metronome so if I bring up the metronome just unmute the speakers all right and so we've got the metronome coming through so I can adjust it so most hymns I play around about 100 beats per minute really depends on the hymn itself though and using the metronome I can ensure that I'm playing at the same tempo for when I record the various angles so I've got the the top angle here and I have a low angle position which is good for recording my footwork when I'm playing the pedals so it shows all of the pedal action that's happening and a behind camera position so I usually use the top angle and the pine position, I alternate between them to make the video a bit more interesting. 
and also to hide any edits. All right, so uh, the next step, of course, is to actually record the video. So I've already done that previously. Um, so once that's been recorded, then I'll send it over to the editing suite and I'll edit it. So let's go and do that now. All right, so here's the edit suite. It's actually a PC that's running Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it's not free software. It does cost a fair amount per month. Um, if you're actually looking for free software, I'd suggest something like Blender, which is a 3D animation tool, but it also includes a video editor. Um, but Adobe Premiere Pro is quite good. It allows me to do everything that I need to do. So I bring the, the footage in from the GoPro and also the recording from Hauptwerk and uh, then I synchronize it and I create a multi-camera sequence. I've got uh, two videos here, They're just overlapped. Mm. And then uh, I can bring that onto the main timeline and I can make the final video by just switching between the camera angles a bit of a fade out at the end and that's the end of the video and there you have it that's how i make one of my videos so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new content thanks for watching